Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and the Initial Impressions Review for VRKanoid, a game released on the Steam Store March 16th, 2022. For all the major VR headsets, it normally retails for 10 bucks. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game, and I'm testing it out on the MetaQuest 2 using Link Cable. Now, this game is a VR brick breaker. Obviously, it's named after Arkanoid, VRKanoid. <laughs> And uh, there's not very many settings available, actually. There's left or right-handed. Now, I will say there is a perk that lets you have two rackets. If you use that perk, I'm not using that perk, but that perk is available. And you can choose language and whether you have music on or off. So that's it for settings. Not very many settings. Now, you can reset uh, your camera. So you can reset your position in VR with just a press of a button, which I like that. However, the problem is that you cannot reset the height. So this is the height, and I think, and the, as you can see, I can touch the ground here. But it's kind of high by default. Now, I'm using the biggest racket, and if I use the small, this is a small racket. This is by default, and as you can see, it's just too high. I actually have to jump if I want to get a ball that bounces that high, which does actually happen quite a bit in this game. But I have the biggest racket, which you unlock after getting 20 stars. And only because of that can I reach. You know, I'm average height male. If, you know, <laughs> there's kids playing this, there's probably women that want to play this. They might have more difficulty reaching over here. As you can see, even with the biggest racket, I can barely touch it. Just a little bit higher than, than there. So I think that's problematic because there is no way to readjust the height, which I think is a problem. Um, there's 20 levels, and like I said, there's different perks. As you can saw there, I had different rackets. Um, you definitely want to get this one because it's the best one. You start off with a racket that's just too small. There's different balls. I don't know that the balls do anything different. I'm not sure about that. There are different colors, but I don't know if they have any different... Uh, if there's any different other differences other than cosmetic. And there's perks. So let me talk about the perks. Uh, like I said, you can get one perk that has two rackets. I don't like that one, so I'm not going to use it. You have one where gravity is canceled. You, there, there's one where if you uh, have an additional ball, we want to use that one. Have have a higher chance to get a bonus when destroying bricks. Now, you don't get a whole lot of bonus when destroying bricks. So you might want to have that on, but we're not going to use it. We're actually going to use this one, which is like an aim assist on the last brick. So this actually has helped me clear some of the levels because, you know, you get that last one. Oh, but you know what? I just unlocked this one. Maybe I want to use that one. What does it say? The ball splits into three pieces. Ooh. We're going to keep with the aim assist. <laughs> but yeah, that, that might be good. And you know, at 40 stars, we unlock the third perk. We might want to use that one. Uh, okay, let's play. Like I said, there's there's 20 levels. I don't know which level I chose, actually. Oh. I did terribly to start off this game. That is one thing about this game is I have a limited play space, so I really have to get there early because some of the bounces can really mess with you. So you don't want to hit the ball too hard. Uh, by default, you might want to swing like as hard as you can. But that makes returning the ball much more difficult. So you kind of want to you don't want to hit it too soft, but you don't want to hit it too hard either. And you want to get different bounces on it so you can get some of the high pieces and some of the low pieces. There you go. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. To get three stars, you got to get 40 bricks destroyed in that amount of time. Wow. And we only got... How many? 37? Oh, man. We were so close to getting 40. All right. Let's look at the levels again. So that was level 15. We've, we've actually already restarted. Let's try level 16. As you can see, it doesn't look very different, but it has a little bit of a different layout. Oh, oh no. I, th I thought I was in trouble there because I had to reach pretty high for it. So that's the biggest thing about this game is just not to hit the ball too hard. Oh, no. Oh, wow, that's a strange bounce. Did y'all see that? That bounce didn't make any sense to me. Oh. 
there with the ball not bouncing uh, very high, it got me. Ah. Ow. So when the ball bounces pretty high, it is tougher, a lot tougher to, to return serve. So we got to be very careful now. We don't have that many chances now. We can't screw up again. Again, some of the bounces are very weird. I have noticed at times a little bit of lag that causes problems with the gameplay. So far, I haven't noticed any lag though. I am in an RTX 3080, so there shouldn't really be any be any lag at any point while playing this game with the simple graphics. But I have noticed every now and then like a... <laughs> Like a little jitter or a little lag spike. So this is what makes this level 16 pretty hard. You have to destroy all the bricks. And to get two stars, you got to do it in the three minutes. And to get three stars, you got to do it in one minute. As you can see, there's very little people <laughs> uh, on the leaderboard. <laughs> so a lot of people have been having trouble with level 16. Let's try level 17. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, not bad. So we got two stars. Uh, we were just a little too slow in destroying it. Um, but as you can see, we're, we're third place on the leaderboard. So a lot of other people had a lot more difficulty than us. And not very many people got as far as we have. So <laughs> this is why I say I could almost call this a full review because obviously not a lot, a lot of people, not a lot of people have gotten as far as, you know, I have. So um, that does tell you something about the game though that uh, people were trying this game, but they weren't getting very far. And, and I say that because the early levels have a lot more people on it. Uh, and I don't think this game is all that difficult, to be honest with you. I just think it's a little bit weird because you can't... Your natural instinct, I, I think, is to try to hit the ball as hard as, as possible. But that's actually not the way to approach it because if you do... Unless you're very skilled, it this makes the game almost impossible for mo for most people. Oh man, I can't believe I missed that one. But again, that's that's what I mean about even a little bit of pace makes hitting the ball a lot more difficult. And I think having a big room scale helps with this game. I don't have a big room scale, so I'm really having to to get really close to over here and trying to hit the ball early versus, you know, standing back over here and waiting for the bounce. Because I really can't wait for it to do that. Okay, got to hit this one right like this. Okay, got to hit this one like this. Got to hit this one like this. Wow, how am I how am I missing all of them? Oh wow, it's like constant misses. Okay, finally got one. Okay. Okay, finally. Okay, finally we're gonna get another one. Okay, finally we're gonna get oh nope, nope. I thought I was gonna get I thought I was gonna Oh! I noticed a little bit. I don't know. Did you see that? That was a little bit of lag. That was a lag spike. The lag spike got me. 
All right, so again, you have to destroy 44 bricks. We got 31. Wow. Um, and, and as you can see, not very many people are on the leaderboard, only two. Uh, let me show one of the early levels, and that'll be our last level. Uh, let's show level seven. As, as you can see, as far as variety, there just really isn't that much. Like, the levels are definitely more difficult the further you get along, but a lot of it just has to do with that you have to, like, break all the bricks to get a star. And you're limited by time as well. So, the gameplay really doesn't change all that much, which is a shame. Um, I think this game could have used a lot more variety, a lot more imagination in the level design. Um, I mean, there's a couple of different brackets, as you saw. There's a couple of different colored balls, some perks, but just not enough variety to keep you invested in playing this game for a long time. You know, unless you're just want, unless you just want to climb the leaderboards and be number one, there's really no reason to put a whole lot of time in this game. And to me, this is just a completely mediocre brick breaker game for VR. There's much better brick breakers in VR. Um, there's Racket and X, which is one of my favorites. And to me, this one is just pretty, just completely mediocre all the way around. There's nothing stand out about it. Uh, it's definitely not the worst Brick Breaker I've played in VR. There's much worse ones I've played, you know, with issues. But um, this one does have some issues. Like I said, the height issue, I think, is a pretty big one. And the fact that sometimes I get a lag spike. It doesn't happen often, so I don't want to complain too much. But uh, as you saw in one of the times I missed the ball, it was because of a lag spike. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell that on the video, but I can tell you as far as me on the he VR headset, I noticed the lag spike. Cause normally this game is running at a steady 90 frames per second. Like I said, I'm on an, R an RTX 3080 and I shouldn't be experiencing any lag spikes at any point for any reason. And the ball physics is okay. Um, you know, if, if you're okay with not hitting the ball, you know, as fat, hard as you can, you know, because some brick breakers are like that where you do have to hit the ball with some force. This one is kind of the other way around. You, you don't want to hit it with a lot of force. Oh, man. I thought I, I, thought I was going to get something there. I didn't. Oh, that was a complete misplay by me. Another misplay, but it wasn't so bad because it didn't go out of bounds and it still kept it in place. So, you know, not too bad. Oh, wow. I think I noticed a little bit of a lag there, but not as much as the first time I missed. So I don't know if I want to blame the lag there, but I just noticed a little bit, just enough to make me, and I wasn't in the best position to hit it. You know, I should have been in better position to hit it, but still, I think it was, it was really the lag, I think. <laughs> Some of you may not believe me, but I'm gonna stick with, it was the lag. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, because of my little perk. Uh, remember I had a perk that automatically breaks a brick. So because of that, I was able to get a star. I think I already had a star on it though. So it was no big deal there. Uh, but again, you see the leaderboard there. The first like few levels have a lot more have like a full leaderboard. Anyways, uh, this is VR VRKanoid, obviously named after Arkanoid. And like I said, I'll give this a five out of ten on mutual recommendation. It's definitely mediocre, but I played much worse brick breakers in VR if you can believe that. So I'm gonna give this a neutral five out of ten. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my video Let's Play Initial Impressions. You could almost call it a full review though for VRKanoid. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.